Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to The Thoughtful Closet. Today I wanted to share my fall capsule with you guys. In this video, I want to touch on the things I took into consideration when creating my fall capsule, a brief overview of the different categories that I have in within my capsule, and then some kind of wish list items that are on my list for fall. If you're liking what you're seeing, hit that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to continue to see more content on minimizing your wardrobe and overall outfit inspiration. So let's jump into it. So first of all, what I took into consideration to build my fall capsule. I've been doing capsules for a couple years now, so they are getting a little bit easier each season as I build them, but there are still some things that I have to be aware of and be mindful of when I build a ward capsule wardrobe. First is the weather. I always, in the past, I used to kind of build my dream wardrobe for that season instead of building one that was realistic for the weather conditions I was in. Sometimes it'd be a little bit too aggressive on the outerwear or sweaters. Uh, sometimes it wouldn't be enough for those really, really cold temperatures. For fall in Portland, it's gonna be a very heavy rain season. So definitely need to think about rain gear, have a lot of layering options because temperatures will still fluctuate in the 70s to probably like mid-low 50s. So both things I wanna take into consideration and not build a dream capsule and instill instead build one that's more realistic for my conditions. The second thing I want to take into consideration are activities during that time or any travel, what have you. I'm doing a little bit of light travel, but it'll be to areas that are still a similar kind of temperature to Portland, so I won't have to plan anything too drastic. And as far as activities, it's mostly going to be probably some pumpkin harvest places. <laughs> pumpkin picking or corn mazes, hopefully, window shopping, obviously work, so kind of a normal kind of season, nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't believe we have any like very, very high events, like any weddings or anything to go to, so I don't need to plan anything super, super formal or dressy for an occasion like that. So the overall theme for my capsule, if I had to give one, is I'm kind of been going in a direction of more kind of modern 90s, a little bit uh, more kind of contrasty pieces. I've been loving like the skirts with the sneakers, so I kind of want to continue on with things that are a little bit dressy mixed with really, really casual basics and looking for more of a street style look. As far as color scheme, I'm very, very much into neutrals, so not a whole lot of change there. I am kind of focusing on more warm neutrals, your cognac, your umber, your dark tans, dark browns, focusing a little bit more there than just black, but there will definitely be a solid mix of neutrals across my wardrobe, which I personally love and I know that I'll wear, which is the most important. So now getting into my capsule. Overall, I came away with about 35 items, which is a great mix. I felt um, usually I'm around 37 pieces, but hitting around 35 gives me a little bit of room if I later find that I have a little a hole that I want to fill. I have about two extra spots. The most I'd probably ever want to go to is about 40 pieces, but uh, that 35 is a great base point. In that mix, I have five tops, eight sweaters, seven bottoms, four dresses, five jackets slash coats, and about six shoes. For my tops, I wanted to make sure that I included pieces that would be great for layering, and that I also had some pieces that were kind of more cropped, since I loved wearing that crop top with high waist pants in the summer. This is something that I definitely want to continue wearing and carrying over into fall. For the sweaters, sweaters are my go-to pieces in fall, obviously, for sweater, sweater weather but I went maybe a little bit too heavy in this category with eight, but I just love throwing them on. This is one that I'm keeping in my capsule for this fall. I love throwing them on, going out the door. They're just so easy, like wearing a blanket all day. So I have a good balance of pullovers and cardigans, but might be a little sweater heavy, but we'll see how it goes. For the bottoms, I have a pretty big diversity in my bottoms category. I have a couple skirts, I have a good mix, pretty much all my pants are high-waisted just because that's my preference. But I do have a good balance between a wide leg and a straight leg fit in my pants. These I've found uh, are the styles that I gravitate towards the most. I'm kind of stepping away from skinny jeans, a little bit over that, but I love a good wide leg or a nice straight fit. 
and pretty much all of my bottoms are cropped. I have just always really enjoyed cropped pants because I love having like a scrunch sock kind of look with that little bit of gap or having tights underneath my pants and having the tights kind of show. I just really like that as a style element so pretty much all of my pants are cropped. I do have four dresses in my fall capsule and dresses are definitely an area I've always struggled with and will probably kind of continue to struggle with for a little while but I like including them just to figure out how I can layer them, how I can still wear them in a little bit colder temperatures. And I do have uh, some prints in my dresses which add a little bit of variety to my mostly neutral solid colors in my capsule. So the prints are a nice way to kind of like jazz things up. For my jackets and coats, most of the, all last year I basically kind of wore really, really long sweater coats or just long trench coats. This year I'm kind of including some more normal length jackets as well as longer coats. And of course I have a raincoat that's a pretty long length about my knees, but I'm kind of trying to see if um, incorporating some normal length jackets, how those work within my wardrobe. And I have a couple styles that I really want to try and work with. One of them, obviously my Helen's Tooth Blazer, I've included that a lot and I love wearing that piece. But I have a couple other pieces that I've been neglecting for a little while and I'd love to try and work them into the balance and see how they work out with uh, my wardrobe. For shoes, I have a good balance of dressy and casual shoes. I have uh, a heel pair because I do need some for more formal occasions at work, but a lot of my shoes are gonna be sneakers just because I've been loving um, the sneaker trends lately and um, have always gravitated towards sneakers and I feel like I'm really finally understanding how I like to wear them and like to style them in my closet so I want to keep that going for fall. I've also included a pair of rain boots, kind of crop ankle rain boots which I'm super excited to wear this season. I felt like that was something that was lacking in my wardrobe last year so I feel like I've got a really great sustainable pair to try out this season. Um, and I'm excited to work that into my wardrobe as kind of another sneaker alternative when it's super, super rainy outside. So even though Caps wardrobes are really not about trends, there are a couple pieces that I find that I look for or gravitate towards as the seasons pass. Uh, I always kind of have something on my mind of this would be nice to add to my wardrobe if I have the budget and it makes sense. For this fall, some of those things include geometric pieces or more modern pieces, whether it be in my jewelry or handbags. I've been loving seeing some kind of like more harsh, like intense shapes with jewelry and handbags as like more of an accent piece. Um, I thought that was a really, really cool element and something that could work with my neutral palette and my kind of like modern 90s uh, feel that I've been kind of going for these past couple seasons. Another area that's kind of on my wish list is more plaid blazers. I've loved wearing my 80s kind of houndstooth style long blazer and I would love to find a couple other plaid blazers that work within my color palette that I can continue to wear because I've been getting so much wear out of the past couple years out of my 80s style blazer. So I'd love to add another piece to that part of my closet. Another piece that I am gravitating towards is kind of black patent like shiny accessories whether it be in shoes or handbags. Uh, I just think that that's a really, really fun kind of neutral accessory, but it has a little bit of a pop with that shine. So I've been loving kind of pieces that are made out of that black, shiny, patent le leather. I just think that they're a really cool, kind of slightly edgy element to add to an outfit. So that's going to do it for my fall capsule, guys. If you like what you saw, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to continue to see videos like this and see the outfits that I make out of my fall wardrobe, be sure to hit subscribe so you get reminders on that content. Also, if you're interested in seeing each specific piece that I'm including in my fall capsule, don't forget to go over to my blog, The Thoughtful Closet, where I'll have images of each item that I'm including in my capsule, where you can buy that piece, and where you can get similar items that look very similar to that piece at maybe a little bit more affordable for your budget. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.